So in preparation for the WoW series I'm going to be doing on the 29th, six days from now, I've got a really cool themed Warsword Conquest run. So the plan here with this theme run is we're going to make a Paladin. we got an interesting potential battle here. There's 29 of these. Ooh, nice. There was 29 of these Amazon Raiders that have a bunch of prisoners that we could potentially recruit if we do win this. So we're going to help out the Lizardmen Patrol. Oh no, our kidnapped girl is going in. Wait, that could be bad. Okay, phew, she got knocked unconscious. Allies have four left. Enemies have 19 left. Oh no, there's three of these riders up. These riders are really strong. They might be able to do some work on these guys. Okay, the Skink War Chief. Oh, no, it's down. And all right, it's just me left with all these Amazonian women. Who will be victorious? There's only a few of them that still have throwing weapons though. And okay, yeah, our magic ability is doing pretty good damage. It's gonna be a long process, but I think it's doable. Oh, that girl's throwing javelins. She can't have more left, right? Like, she's got to be out soon. Oh no, 17 damage. That's the most of our HP gone. I think she's finally out. Okay, I think we're good here. I think I can just actually relax. This is really stressful because if we do lose this, then we get captured. And we don't get those prisoners. We don't get all the reward for killing these guys. All right, just the guys with the shields left or the girls. Oh, what? We just went right through their shield? Or like somehow... Yeah, that was weird because that attack just got blocked by the shield, but their one somehow got by. If you get close enough, they will lower their shields. I just don't want to get too close though because I'm literally one hit away from dying. Like like that. But like, it's just so scary because my HP is so low. Okay, I don't know how that hit. That was weird. I think my strat is just to destroy their shield or, okay, hit them right through the shield, I guess. That one hit through the shield as well. Very nice. Don't know how these are hitting, but I'll take it. We just lose too much. Oh, very nice. We broke her shield. We just lose too much progress, though, if we die here. Getting so much XP. I just realized we are, I got up to level 9. We're getting 168 each for these guys. And wow, we only get one renown for that, even though we pretty much sold that battle. We helped the lizard men. We got some relation with them. And we got a bunch of rescue prisoners that will join us. I'm not sure if these guys are any good, but we will pick them all up. That guy was actually mounted. This guy, Dragon Prince of Kalidor, he's got a weekly wage of 138. That usually shows how good they are. And a high helm, this guy has a weekly wage of 81. Shadow Walker, oh, this guy's a really good archer. 54 dinars for a foot archer. Mounted units are usually way more expensive. Oh, whoa, High Elf Noble. This guy's riding a freaking white lion, and he has a weekly wage of 237. Okay, yeah, that was really worth. I'm so glad that that worked out. Let's see, did we get any gear? We got no gear. They literally stole all the gear. If I could, I would just just literally attack their patrol right now because they're all knocked out and steal the gear they just picked up from those Amazonians. I'm pretty sure we can't steal it though. For some reason there was the option to attack them but we couldn't actually fight them on the field. Oh and there we go. If we attack them again we are able to fight them on the field. There is a weird bug though. And we get no gear or anything. Okay yeah we're just gonna reload. And of course we picked those guys up right before we have to do the weekly budget. It was literally like hours before. And so we had to pay all their wages of 669. That is painful. On the way back to turn the Quest in. There's 20 desert bandits. They were chasing us and they stopped chasing us when we got too close to the caravan because it could have helped out. But then when we started chasing them, we just had to chase them for a bit and they turned around and attacked us, meaning that they think they're stronger. We'll see about that though. We have these really powerful elven troops and I'm thinking like even if they die here, which like I really don't want that. Is it an elven noble to die with the lion? If they do die though, that's less wages we have to pay and we're going to get some stuff from winning this anyways. So I think it's going to be worth well, these guys look scary, though. Maybe just start taking out their horses. Oh, and then we lost a Reaver already. I'm surprised that these guys are able to die to these plebs. Oh, okay, not a good place to be. I don't know what the Reaver was. And we lost the Dragon Prince of Kalidor. That was the guy, I think, right? Or that was the guy riding that mount, not the Beastly Lion mount. He's still a really strong unit, though. That sucks that he died. Ow. Oh, the Seaguard just got obliterated. Yeah, I think these guys were maybe not the best to waste our units on. Just mounted units in general are so much stronger than non-mounted units. We got five renown for that. Lost some pretty nice units, unfortunately. We did get 15 items, and we got a sway-backed Arabian horse, which is just not as good as our horse. Ours is not sway-backed. We also got some thick Arabian leather boots that will be an upgrade, and some bent Arabian Janissary arrows. We'll pick those up as well. And for winning that, we got 690 gold, a good amount of XP, and the kidnapped girl advanced to level three. I tried talking to her, though, and we can't, like, level up her skills or anything. And, okay, 
I just watched two caravans get absolutely destroyed by a bunch of these fairly small goblin armies. And the goblins took a bunch of them prisoner. There's some really nice prisoners here, like two of these questing knights. I think those are really good. I don't know if the Lord's Huntsman's any good. And then this one has two orcs and a paladin. I don't know if the paladin's good as well. I thought the best prisoners go at the top, so I guess they're not that good. I would like to see if I can split these guys up and maybe take out this group of 18 who has the questing knights those are really nice units i think and yeah we split them up can we take these guys though there's five braves four archers four scalp takers and three spider rider war chiefs i think the war chiefs are gonna be really hard scalp takers i believe might be mounted as well in this battle i'm definitely gonna use micro to our advantage here so they're gonna charge in first with their spider riders and we're just first gonna pick these guys apart they don't have any shields i think so they're really vulnerable. Oh, no, they just pulled out their shield. These guys have really high maneuverability, by the way. So the main thing with the spider riders is you want to just run away from them. Oh, these guys are strong. We dismounted them, though. Very nice. Killed their spider. Nice. Yeah, we have the numbers here. Against these guys. Yep. All right. Very nice. Now I'll rerun. Run away. Oh, and here comes another one. I don't know why this guy was so far back. It's the same unit. So he's not, like, slow or anything. I just headshot the spider somehow. Don't kill our freaking archer. Oh, headshot him. Very nice. That's a big headshot. Oh, nice. We killed him. Okay. Now we just gotta protect the archer. I don't want the archer to die. I really do not want that unit to die. I'm gonna try to actually aggro these guys away. The melee ones at least. And then I'm gonna have our mounted units charge their archers. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Our mounted guys are gonna get in there. The lion's gonna eat them up. And yeah, the rest of these guys are free. No one needs to die against these guys. I can take them by myself. Just do this trick where yeah, you just get close enough so that they'll just raise their shields. Or turn them around actually. And then our bowmen can shoot them from behind. Those guys are actually running. Never mind. Oh. Okay, I'm down. Well, that was unnecessary, but it's not gonna matter. Get him. Oh, just obliterated that. That guy's gonna try to run. But he's not gonna be able to. We were victorious. We got six renown. Our party gained a bunch of morale as well. We didn't actually lose anyone. Just me and the girl got knocked out. And we picked up these two questing knights. Really good units. And we got this huntsman. Yeah, it's not the best unit. And a mounted archer yeoman. That's actually really good. Oh, and we got a giant spider mount. As you can see, the speed is really low. 37, but the maneuver is insane. So you can really outmaneuver people with your turning ability. It has a four riding requirement though. I don't think we're gonna be able to use that. We might save it and give it to a companion later. Because yeah, we're kind of capped out at riding three unless we want to put more points into agi we'd have to get the 12 agi to get to riding four it might be worth it probably not for that mount though if we do get to 12 agi though we could also put another point to weapon master which is going to help us later i'm not really sure it's just something to think about i guess also this smaller forest goblin army is now running away from us they do have two spider rider war chiefs but yeah i think we will take these guys out Oh, that's a massive army. We ended up having to chase these guys for a while because we ran into another patrol and we did not want anyone to help us out. And I'm getting knocked out again. I sent our archers to just retreat, which is why it says they're routed. They didn't get killed though. We got four renown for that and we rescued these two orcs which have a weekly wage of one. And this paladin, which is an insane unit, 237 weekly wage. I think we're just gonna pick up the paladin. We're gonna lead the orcs. We don't need any crappy melee troops around. Just steal our loot. You do end up having to give your troops loot after each battle. So generally you don't really want a lot of low tier troops around and whoa this forest goblin army has tons of prisoners 33 of them they have a troll prisoner okay we really want to take these guys out can we take on their 28 forest goblins though personally i'm really low hp i don't even know if i can participate in this battle okay so this is what i was worried about if we do engage them we would just have to auto calculate which is bad i don't think we'd even win that potentially thankfully though i did say before engaging these guys doing a bit of a test and yeah we're gonna have to kite these guys around for a while but yeah at least not I am able to participate. We also started on a hill, which is really nice. Let's see if we can just own oh, this guy as he charges in. Hit him. Oh, nice. We killed him. Good start. Now, can we just not die to this other guy, too? That'd be ideal. Yep, really good. Now, we're going to have our cavalry just kind of kite in circles. I'm going to micro them to go that direction. And what the heck is that thing? Nor pain is soaking damage. Okay, maybe our cavalry need to come back. Holy cow, that thing's a beast. It's taking so many arrows. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just trying to kill this massive dwarf thing, and I've sunk like eight arrows into it. Holy cow, headshot. Everyone just charge, I guess. I don't know. 
Like, I can't leave this guy to attack our units. I'm pretty sure he's going to rip them up. There we go. We killed him for 980 XP. We lost a unit, though. I'm not sure if it was any good. I'm seeing most of our decent mounted units are still up, though. We won. Let's see the damage. We lost a human, which was a archer, and then we lost a sword master. I forget what that was. We got nine renown, though, and we rescued tons of prisoners that will join us. And then this troll, though, has 158 wage. This thing's insane. Like, it's really tanky. This army is actually following us. I think we'll just fight it. Like, I'm probably not even going to show much of this battle. We might lose some decent units here, but we're getting seven renown for this. That's nuts. And yeah, there's a lot of melee goblins here. I think I'm just going to let our troops run in though i don't really care if some of them die like we already lost a desert dog that's fine and all right we won we did lose the white lion of crassy was that our lion rider i think it might have been because i didn't see him at the end that kind of sucks we did capture two spider rider war chiefs though those things are gonna have a really high sell value and okay we still do have the high elf noble i'm not sure where he was in that battle that was weird i guess he didn't appear on the field maybe my battle size is not big enough and i have a level up too we're gonna go to 21 intelligence so we can get up to seven in all of our magic stuff and okay we ran into another forest goblin army that has 12 prisoners i don't know if any of those are good but we're gonna try to take these guys out anyways they are running so they do think they're weaker which they definitely are there is no doubt about that one this guy wants me oh yeah just keep aggroed on me dude oh, you're getting hit from behind real smart get him boys oh nice unfortunately off of that we did lose a questing knight i don't think the desert dog was super amazing we got seven or now though and we did rescue a minotaur okay this thing's nuts 158 wage it has the same wage as the troll so it's got to be on par with the troll the assassin is actually good though 92 wage on this thing and i'm seeing a quiver which is a really good sign that might be an amazing archer and then the sand wraith has 158 wage so that's three super strong units that we got now and there's another freaking forest goblin army over here by the way and so we're just gonna take this Thing too might as well i think before we do fight these guys though we will increase our prisoner management so we can take more prisoners we'll buff it up to two maybe we'll buff our leadership too so we can increase the number of troops we have i was gonna do this eventually i didn't think we'd do it this early i thought we'd do more solo grinding but we're snowballing really hard here with this army i'm not sure where it's gonna end we might just get ambushed by some massive army but for now let's we'll just keep this snowball rolling and so yeah we got the troll the minotaur and then the sand wraith that is just beastly units i'm pretty sure they have insane amounts of hp for that battle we got five more now and we lost a berserker i don't know if that was a great unit oh we can actually see it here yeah it's a pretty medium tier unit we did get a black orc immortal though a really solid dude we got some more of these boar boys some orc archers i don't know why we're getting so many orcs i guess these goblins are at war with the orcs and yeah we can take a bunch more prisoners now and there's another forest goblin army with five more prisoners there's a boss over here oh and there's another army over here that's why it was turning around to attack us but it's not close enough but yeah for some reason we're getting six around for this i guess these guys have better troops like yeah i'm seeing four mounted troops right now which are all about to run into our infantry line and get obliterated we lost the immortal already well wow. that black orc immortal only lasted for one battle he was here for a good time not a long time as they say we did lose some units here the kidnapped girl got knocked out again but that's completely fine we got the renown and yeah we got some more rescued prisoners we rescued a night goblin which is weird didn't we just fight a unit like this it was riding a massive dog that guy was good though we got a skeleton lancer a skeleton knight as well and a mummy beastly looking infantry okay so this is an interesting turn of events there was a massive battle going on where the dwarves were completely outnumbering i think it's the vampire faction but since my battle size is capped at 150 there's actually a mod you can install to increase that. i think i'm gonna install that mod after this but since my battle size is really small the dwarves were only able to put so many troops on the field and when they all got killed we were the only ones left so i just retreated didn't lose any troops unfortunately on the retreat though i ended up losing hp so i went back to attack i had to auto calculate the battle ended up losing a couple troops but we did capture this guy the red duke one of i guess the vampire lords and i believe we can ransom this guy for a lot and we're able to choose from i believe most of the prisoners i don't even think these guys got any of them this master thunder is really good the dwarf engineer i believe upgrades to a master engineer if i'm not mistaken we can actually find out in a second but if that's the case that's insane unit and unfortunately no it does not i forget how you get master engineers but they're insane and we just got an event where we lose 1400 gold that sucks we were able to sell off most of the items we just picked up for 555 we're going to keep the extra arrows just in case and the mounts as well i believe these do increase our map movement speed oh and there's also a ransom broker here we can sell these spider rider war chiefs for 300 each we got three of them these goblin war chiefs for 500 each we got two of those the red duke we cannot sell the white champion for 320 sharpshooters for 140 each 
Mage, Hell Knight for 500, Grave Guard for 140, and the Skeleton Captain for 192. That was a lot of money. With our new riches, we headed back to the Wizards Guild and picked up every ability except for this one, which summons a melee weapon, and we're not using melee weapons just yet. So we're going to hold off on that for now and focus on using our AoE ability and our buffs. After doing that transaction, we did also have to pay our weekly wages, and we were not able to afford them, so we're now in a bit of debt. But we did rescue the kidnapped girl and got some gold back and a good amount of XP. And yeah, that's where we're going to end day two. On day three, we're going to be testing out our new abilities. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you then.